ladies and gentlemen yes 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 i'm here with family matters and to be honest this one is i'm really looking forward to this one because this is actually the first first dish track that i'm doing a reaction to without listening to it this is my first listen i had to hold myself to be able to listen to it for the first time i've seen a lot of things online but i needed to literally keep my ears off so i could hear it for myself and give my own first honest review directly after hearing it for the first time without any influence of externals so guys without further ado let's check out family matters by drake let's go didn't start by saying mm -hmm. I said it, I know that you mad. I've emptied the clip over friendlier jabs. You mentioned my seed, now deal with his dad. I gotta go bad, I gotta go bad. Mm, mm, yeah. Wait, wait, I think there's a video to this. I'm gonna find, look for the video now. I think there's a video to this. Family Matters by Drake video. I think there's a video to this. Uh, is there a video? Okay, I think I saw a video online. But let's. This is seven minutes, man. Seven minutes. I'm taking it back there, back there again. Maybe uh, a little. Okay. Maybe the video came out later on. I didn't see any video. I can't see any video. But guys, let's let's listen to this. Let's listen to this. A song you shouldn't start by saying. Mm -hmm. I said it. I know that you mad. I've emptied the clip over friendlier jabs. You mentioned my seed. I deal with his dad. I gotta go bad. I gotta go bad. Okay. Um. The force to which Drake is coming here. You know that he's coming here um heavy he said i've emptied the clips with friendlier jabs so what i was giving you since was more of light work while beating you to the heavy one you know prior to this there were rumors online that drake was going to drop a bomb and this is the bomb so guys family matters this is actually the name of an otv show family matters uh but let's let's listen to this let's let's go man Okay, sorry for pausing it, but this was the end of um of push-ups. Drop, drop, drop and give me 50. So he just gave us like a snippet of what was coming next, which was family matters. So in as much as Kendrick is doing the whole creative artistic thing, Drake is also doing it. And we have to just give these two guys kudos for blessing us with a lot of hip-hop intellect and hip-hop um juice at this time man this hip hop is hip hop is alive man let's let's just let's just give them those kudos guys let's continue the set they give you the dp to civilian gang in real life you pc you know who really bang and set my yg you know who really bang and set my chuck t you know who even bang and set out there cb it cold loose sleep on this it ain't me you better have some paperwork of that shit fake t can't be rapping by no rat that we can't read i mean it's true and slimy for my ap Just when did when did when did drake write this you can't be rapping about no rats and we can't read you know you have to have some paperwork to back up your claims of having a rat and somewhere and some things so what drake is saying is that dude dude all you are warning me about having a snitch in my team but you're not giving me any evidence no receipts to show for it man let's go just like i met you on for his main squeeze out here begging for attention say please always rapping like you about to get the slaves free wait 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 why is this censored because it's on youtube why is it censored um but yeah let's continue though he said you're always rapping like you're about to get the slaves freed if i if i see another sense on this i have to change it you just acting like an activist is make believe don't even go back to your hood and plant on money trees okay don't even go back to your hood and, pl and plant your money trees remember good kid math city kendrick's first project money trees was one of the songs there um and that's that was like where 
Kendrick came out from, that was his hood. Don't go there and plant your and, and plant your money trees. And he said that you yeah, it's literally telling it's literally telling Kendrick that Kendrick is fake because Kendrick always um tries to be an activist in his songs, tries to be the kind of guy that thinks deep, tries to to do all those things. So he's saying that Kendrick, all those things you are doing, you are just being a phony in your music. Let's go. Say you hate the girls, I what you really mean. I've been with black and white and everything that's in between. You the black messiah wiping up a mixed queen and hit vanilla cream to help out with your self-esteem. Okay, okay. This was a rebuttal, a rebuttal to to Drake's uh, to Kendrick Lamar's um, this, you know, Kendrick Lamar said Drake is always the guy is always trying to act black. You know, he's trying to act black in his, is is he's trying to act off. He's trying to feature people so that he could feel black. So he's now telling Kendrick that you are the black guy. You you claim to be the rap black Messiah, and you're the black guy that is wifing up a mixed queen. So basically, your wife is also white. It's, it's also mixed like myself. And you are not trying to give me a job that I'm trying to be black. So he's just rebuttaling that to, to, to K-Dot. And that is actually heavy, heavy rebuttal. Let's go, man. Also, Bobby, I want to know what Whitney need. All that puppy love was over in y'all late teens. Why you never hold your son and tell him say cheese? We could have left the kids out of this. Don't blame me. You a okay. Dog. So why don't you ever hold your son and tell him say chase you should have left the kids out of this don't blame me so kendrick is saying kendrick was saying that drake was the one who brought family into this drake is saying that why did you have to talk about my son you uh we should have left the kids out of this but since you want to talk about my son i will talk about your son remember pushing people shati line by kendrick i uh, remember the the other one about him being a father, being a better father, and Kendrick and um, Drake doesn't have any idea of what of you don't know nothing about that. You, you know nothing about that. You know Kendrick said that. So Drake is saying that we should have left the kids out of this. Don't blame me. Let's continue. You think you know it, you just play sweet. Your baby mama catch was always screaming, save me. You did it dirty all your life, you trying to make peace. I heard that one of them little kids might be day free. What did he say there? What, what did he say there? The way he said it, like, dude, that's like a jab below the belt. What? The life you trying to make peace. I heard that one of them little kids might be day free. I heard that one of the little kids might be day free. I don't know what that means. I don't know which term, what term it is. Please educate me in the comment section. I don't know what that means. Don't make it day freeze. Cause if your GM is your BM secret BD, then this is our making. If your GM is your BM secret BD. Okay. If your GM, if your general manager is your baby mama secret bed days. That what I'm trying to get from there. Okay. Is he trying to say that one of the kids might not be his? Hmm? I don't know, man. Try, please, educate me in the comment section. Get plenty sense to me. Hey, let that shorty breathe. Shake that. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Shake that for Drake. Now shake that for free. Yeah, yeah. We're not that kind of free. I'm talking about my day. Yo, man, a little K. We call that the mini Drake. He always said I overlooked him. I was staring straight. These bars go over Kenny head no matter what I say. I know you said these bars go over Kenny head no matter what I say. You know what it means there? It means that because Kendrick Lamar is so short, the bars will definitely go over his head because of his height. On that shade to his height, height again, but a very creative way. So jobs upon jobs from Drake. Let's go. It like to keep it short, so let me paraphrase. Knew it was smoke when Abel hit us with the serenade. Say, uh, uh, almost started reaching for my ways. Draw, 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 draw. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the thought. Okay. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it. Yeah. Stop playing around and take it. Wait, 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 wait. 
Drake Drake has switched the beats. So the first one was actually like a child's play to Drake, and now he's trying to take things seriously. <laughs> this is what I say when I know that Drake, in terms of battle rap, Drake knows how to do it. Let's go, man. Seriously. The joke, I take it serious, though. Yeah. Look. If Drake shooters doing TikToks, really shooting your gang, that's P's brother, y'all ain't get shot. Can't listen to this. This sounds very grimy. Sounds like something Pop Smoke will use. Let's go back. Serious, though. Yeah. Look. If Drake shooters doing TikToks, really shooting your gang, that's P's brother, y'all ain't get shot. Can't listen to the stick talking falsetto, saving for a hip hop. You don't even be at home, dog. You a souvenir out of gift shop. Still mad about that one. We ain't even. I just lip lock with her. I get acting when it's war time. I ain't even really let my drop. What the? I heard Rick drop. Talk. The censorship on this thing is really messing me up. It's messing me up, man. The censorship of this is messing me up. Ah. Uh, let me let me let me take it back. Let me find the one that is. Uh, let me find the one that is. It's not censored. This is three fifteen. Uncensored. Okay. 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 Let me use this. Maybe in this song. Let me use this. 315. All right, let's go. Talking something about a nose job, nigga. Old Zip, it got a side effect of jealousy and doubt. It never told y'all niggas. Put a nigga in the bars, let a nigga rock. Kind of like your old job, nigga. House sitting on some land, but it's how no one even really know y'all niggas. Bitches got to drive two hours for your pay them just to give a blow job, nigga. Must have started up a snowball, because my last record deal was 400 ends. These days, that's a low bar, nigga. Hey, who's next on the list? Which one of my so-called niggas? Which one of my so-called niggas? Which one of my so-called niggas need a share for the clip? Okay, he, this one, okay, here is just referencing the guys and the people around him that Kendrick is saying that are snitches, that he has given him info. So um, Drake is just referencing them, that which one of them it is. I'm ready to give them a shell from the clip so he's literally ready to give everybody a shot anyone around him that he feels that is a suspect that is snitching on him so let's go Kid, man, city van, we'll pot the latch and make the door slide. Tears running down my cheek, laughing at you, pussy dying. It's a war cry. Look at music getting played in all the spots where boys got a little more pride. Okay, wait, it's a good kid, Matt City van. We pop the latch, we pop the latch and make the door slide. So I saw the video, I saw the video online where the van the good kid master van was actually being told. So Drake really did this thing where he actually went to get the good kid man city van the van from good kid man city and he told the the van the guy can be very petty when he wants to be let's go Okay, Rakim. Rakim, that's the real name for ASAP Rocky. So, ASAP Rocky also got this here. So, let's take it back. He said, Rakim talking shit again. Gas cause you hit my BM first. Nigga, do the maths. Who was I hitting then? Hmm. So, he's just telling ASAP Rocky that, dude, you think because you hit my baby mama first, do the maths. I was hitting your own too. I was hitting in. I ain't even know you rest there because they only talk about your fit again. Probably gotta have a kid again for you think of dropping any shit again. Even when you do drop, they gonna say you should have model because admit again. Smoking. Okay, okay, okay. So because it's up Rocky now is the baby daddy to Riri to Rihanna. He's saying that dude, all you do is wear good clothes. You find you wear fancy clothes. I don't even know you still rap because at the end of the day, 
you wrap some meat and when you wrap they will tell you dude go back and do modeling with your fancy clothes because it suits you more than being a rapper this to asap rocky let's go anybody should have put you on the first one trying to get it in ask friend if this a good idea the next time you cut it in a bit again she'll even tell your leader boy alone for you get your head split again you don't shit made me sick to my stomach we ain't never really been through it little way you're fucking lame so i know you had to be an influence Who is Lennon Wind? She'll even tell your leader boy alone for you get your head split again. You don't shit made me sick to my stomach. We ain't never really been through it. Little Wayne, you're fucking lame, so I know he had to be an influence. These niggas had a plan and they finally found a way to rope get into it. Two separate albums, this and I just did a chem to it. Nigga skimmed through it. Me and Savage had the hoes dripping where it shows. Almost had to swim to it. K dot shit is only hitting hard when Baby King put his pen to it. He dot shit. Is only hitting hard when baby king baby king put his pen to it. So that is now back to Kendrick Lamar. Had a... So me and Savage had had the whole dripping wet. At shows almost had to swim to it. So he said that uh, him and um, Twenty One Savage are actually doing, you know, they are doing big. So say that Kend um, Kendrick Lamar. Is is not hitting, is not actually popping anymore. The only time it's popping is when they became influences on that particular project. Let's go. Swim to it. K dot shit is only hitting hard when baby king put his pen to it. Ross calling me the white boy and the shit kinda got a ring to it. Cause all these rappers waving white flags while the whole fucking club sing to it. Murder scene on your man tonight, then come to vision with the candlelight. I like that line. I like the line where he said um um Ross called me a white, calling me a white boy, and the shit got a ring to it because all these rappers waiting white flags while the old effing club sing to it. So he's just saying that rappers are trying to make peace with me because I come, I come with that energy. I come with that guy that is ready for the violence when it's when I'm ready to bring it. So he's saying I'm ready to bring it. And these guys are waving the peace flag, waving the white flag. Why the club why the club is singing to my music? So I like how the, the comeback was really very slick from Drake. Very slick from Drake. Let's go. Another beats, another beats, beat switch up again. Let's go, man. Hey, Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. Where's your uncle at? Cause I wanna talk to the man of the house. West Coast niggas do phase, right? Come get this ass whooping, I'm handing him out. You wanna take up for Pharrell? Then come get his legacy out of my house. A man, you wanna take up for Pharrell? Then come get his legacy out of out of my house. So he's just saying that, dude, even Pharrell, that you were aspiring to be, he came to me for legacy. Like he's get come get his legacy out of my house. You know, I've gotten that legacy out of Pharrell. So um, what I like about Drake is he knows how to do everything. He's the guy that can fit into different pockets. He has the vocals. He knows how to sing. He knows how to rap. Now he's doing the singing thing. He's singing and he's dissing on while going as a vocalist. Let's go, man. These are the scissors for hoes. Can't listen to lies that come out of your mouth. You caught a two-pack of steak. Then beg them to sue me and get that shit down. I'm losing perspective on beef. Boy, when the same beat and I kill you for fun. Your daddy got robbed by top. You stunner and Wayne like father like son. You stunner and Wayne like father and son. So it's, I like we said there that um, he called Tupac Estates to sue him for the Taylor made freestyle. He's, he's saying that Dr um, Kendrick actually did that. He called Tupac Estates to sue him for the Taylor made freestyle. Um, let's go, man. Anthony set up the plays. Kojo be charging you double for none. They shook about what I'ma say. But texting your phone like we already won. You tell me what I shouldn't say. But well, fucking my nigga, it's already done. We already know it's a 20v1. We already know why you went number one. It's clearly because of the boy. The honorable thing is to give me the loot. You right about for the big three. It's only big D and it's video proof. I saw mm -hmm. No. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> he said, you're right about F the big tree. It's only big D and there's video proof. Remember the video that went viral of Drake wanking and jerking off to himself? Everybody saw how large his thing was. He said, you're right about F the big tree because it's only big D and there's video proof. Then he talked about, you know, Kendrick went number one with the response, with the euphoria response. And he said that, dude, you have to give me the loss because if you didn't diss me, if you didn't diss me, if it wasn't me you dissed, you wouldn't have gone number one. That was like, let's go. That was a, a very good one. Don't you don't play at the park. Two light skin kids, this shit will be cute. Unless you don't want to be seen. With anyone that isn't blacker than you, we get it. We got it. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. We get that you like the virginia and juice. We get that you think that you bishop and juice. When you Man, that's another rebuttal. I like how Drake does it. The slickness of this is just another level. To me, this has beaten everything up until this point that Kendrick has put out. This has beaten it. Has beaten it. The rebuttals are so slick. Especially when he said, our kids can go and play out. Two light-skinned kids, they can play. Except you don't like anything around you that isn't blacker than you. Come on, man. Come on. That was just a play on how he was shading Drake for trying to be as black as possible and try to be acting tough for the culture. He's saying our kids are our, our kids are white. Our kids are actually light skinned. And that's because Kendrick Kendrick is with a light skinned woman. And Drake is actually very light skinned. He's half black. Kendrick is also with a mixed race woman. So Dude, our kids are light skinned. So why are you telling me about being black and not being black enough? That's a good one. So let's take it back a bit. Let's go. Okay, this is this is this is this is this is this is dirty now. This is dirty now. This is dirty now. Let's look at what Drake is saying here. First of all, it's a crime. It's not good. Domestic violence is not good. He said, when you put your hands on your girl, was it self-defense because she's bigger than you? First is accusing Kendrick of beating his woman. And second is also shading Kendrick that Kendrick has a small stature. It's too small. So because of that, she's literally bigger than him. So are you trying to play the victim card that she's bigger than you? That's why you had to fight her and had to hit her. So, come on. Ooh. To me, this, this, this is, this is, this is really, really heavy. This is heavy. Let's go, man. You move to New York. Is it because you live in that bachelor life? Proposed in 2015. But don't want to make her your actual wife I'm guessing this wedding ain't happening right Cause we know the girls that you actually like The darkest secrets are coming to light It's all on your face like what happened to Mike oh, No No Oh god uh, Oh no, oh no Ah So first of all 2015 he proposed Kendrick proposed in 2015 And this is this is 2024 that's nine years after and he hasn't actually wifed his girl so drake is asking him he said that you don't want to make your actual wife you don't want to make her your actual wife but look at what he said there your darker secrets are coming to light it's all on your face like what happened to mike talking about michael jackson because michael jackson change of skin he became white Became it became light skinned, it became white. So it says all of your dark secrets are all blown on your face. Like what happened to Mike? Also remember, I don't want to I don't want to make this look like a rich, but I don't think it's coincidence that Kendrick Lamar in the last song in 616 at LA, Kendrick Lamar did the You Are Not Alone like Mike. You know, the Mike reference to You Are Not Alone. And now Drake is also playing on that with this. The dark secrets are coming to light. It's all on your face. Like what happened to Mike? Man, this is this is this is lyric lyricism at its best, man. This is real rebuttaling at its best. Let's go. All the girls that you actually like, the darkest secrets are coming to light. It's all on your face, like what happened to Mike? Oh shit. 
It's all making sense. Maybe I'm Prince and you actually Mike. Michael was praying his features would change, so people believe that he's actually white. Top will make you do features for change. Get on pop breakers and rap for the whites and wait. You say your brother Jermaine, but you only here to stay out of the light. Oh shit. Just follow me right, cause nothing you saying can bother me right I get off the plane and nothing has changed I handed the lala with all of my ice Handed the lala with all of my ice Handed the lala with all of my ice This shit gotta be over by now For anyone out here that's calling it right You're dead You're dead You're dead You're dead There's nowhere to hide, there's nowhere to hide You know what I mean They hired a crisis management team To clean up the fact that you beat on your queen The picture you paint, it ain't what it seemed You're dead this was this was it this was this was it this was it um there's there's a reply to this which is a good thing we have kendrick's reply to do with meet the grahams um but this was actually heavy the fact that i still went back and referenced how kendrick beat on his queen you know talking and still remembering still um falling up on the on the verse where he talked about him hitting her is it self-defense because she's bigger than you now he's saying that man you beat on your queen the picture is painted you're dead so man this is actually heavy so this tops whatever thing kendrick has dropped up until now but let's see what Mitzi grahams does by kendrick and guys let's let's look at that after this let's look at that after this man so please if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like leave a comment about this man this is this family matters it's just it's a heavy this leave a comment about this i'll see you on the next one guys peace